hello and welcome to my channel my name is Erifi Ahima was me so today we are talking everything beads most of the time I hear people talking about African beads African beads and today I'm bringing you my version of the reason why we as Africans wear African beads so let's get into it beads have been part of West African culture for a long time in Ghana, it is fundamentally part of our heritage. The majority of bees produced come from the Ashanti and the Kobo people in the Eastern region. A shift from our indigenous traditional beads made of stones to the ones made from layers of pounded glasses mixed with dyes occurred over a decade ago. Although one of the functions of wearing beads is to monitor your weight, the idea is to shape you along as you grow. For intimacy, it is an accessory that draws the attention of your partner. And for others, it serves as a spiritual protection. The tradition is, when a baby is under convulsion, the mother of the baby takes off his waist beads, puts it into the bathing water of the baby, and baths the baby with it. It is said that the bees around the woman's waist is not just for herself, but to protect the fruit of her womb. But today, bees seem more fashionable than before. The type of beads you wear tells much about your identity, whether you are a royal or just an ordinary person. Although beads are part of our daily lives, specific colors are chosen for different occasions, like funerals and weddings. Since there were no sanitary pads and panties, the waist beads were very crucial accessories to every woman. A well-folded cotton is fixed on the beads to cover the safe area to hold any discharge. Amonsen is what the Akans call this. An Akan proverb says, Ahenepa enkasa, to it, top quality beads do not rattle. Yes guys, this is how we end today's video. Kindly like, subscribe, share and comment on this video. Bye!